Welcome back, everybody. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And Dr. Lori, today is a national backward day, so we mean goodbye instead of hello. I don't oh, know. We're, okay. just try we're trying whatever no, we can. Oh, no. We mean hello. Well, <laughs> well, you know, all kinds of odd things are happening. Here's an odd thing for you. Um, David Highfield, I had a dream about you and your cat, Marvin. <gasps> really? So, oh, my gosh. That's so wonderful. I what? did. He was he was a hero in my dream. What? The How cat he... was a hero. Yeah. How did Marvin Aww. save the day? Marvin saved the day from there was a garbage can that was picked that was that was thrown over and he ran through the garbage can in my dream. I know I had chocolate the night before. It's probably what it was. <laughs> and he ran through the garbage and he made a little path for me and you. Oh, that's so sweet. Marvin. I love that you're having, oh my gosh. The All super right. cat. Well, Marvin is very popular, and I think I saw it on your Facebook page, and I think that's what it was. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's get to our first item sent in by Arlene. It's a wall plate. I told you it was crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy day. <laughs> this is a West German wall plate. It's marked. Um, it's hand-painted and signed uh, from the 1960s. So the plate actually is in the form of a frame as well. So yeah, I saw that. Kind of reminds you of the little figures, the little Hummel figurines from Germany. Um, it, it's sort of a derivation on that. You know, they were so, so popular after World War II that I think a lot of manufacturers, I know that a lot of manufacturers actually uh, sort of tried to get into the game. I so don't... I think this is what this is. It's not a particularly well-known manufacturer, but it does date from the 1960s. My assumption, now this is an assumption, is it's about four by four inches to six by six inches. I don't think it's any bigger than six by six. Small. I don't know. I wrote down a number. Yeah, I'm trying to write down a number, but it's kind of hard. It's just, I mean, it, it's probably made of like ceramic the way the Hummels are, right? Made of ceramic, lower quality ceramic. The Hummels are made of earthenware and are a little bit better quality. Oh, I said $65. I, to, I said $45. $30. Yeah. Oh, okay. $30. Okay. Point for me. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next up, we have a matador <laughs> sent in by James. <laughs> so humble today. And I am so is excited. A <laughs> this is a composite. Uh, this is a composite figure. What does that mean? Well, it's made of very low quality uh, materials, and then it's painted. It's a matador. And in the 1960s, in home decor, you would have the matador. Um, and then you would have sort of another L element, probably a bull, and you'd make these little vignettes. And the idea was to have vignettes of exotic people from exotic places. So a lot of them were imported from Europe, particularly Spain and Italy and Greece. And basically that's what you're looking at here. It's 10 inches tall, it is painted, but it's unsigned. Okay. How unique okay. would this be? Like to run Not. across something, what'd you say? Not, not, not unique. Okay. Not unique. A <laughs> lot of them. Okay. My aunt Chris had one. My aunt Dorothy had one. My aunt Helen had oh, one. Oh, all your family of, had one. A lot of aunts. Yeah, they had okay. all that stuff. Okay. okay. I said twenty-five dollars. I said twenty-five dollars. There it is, twenty-five dollars. Okay. okay. We all three said twenty-five dollars. Oh my gosh. Twenty-five dollars. Right. Okay. I got a point. <laughs> And you got the best red high heels I've seen ever. I know. Doesn't she looks oh, fantastic? God. Doesn't she? She rocks those. She rocks those. You guys those are, are so nice. Thank you. Nice. Um, <laughs> our next and last item is a lamp set in by Kayla. This is an oil lamp with a wick. Okay, it sorry. has a hand. I'm sorry. It, it has a K. hand paint. <laughs> it has a hand painted globe and a hand painted font. The bottom portion where you keep the um, where you keep the oil is called the font, and then it has a hand-painted globe. It's really quite nice. It's been electrified um, originally from the early 20th century, the early 1900s, and um, I don't have measurements, but if I had to take a guess, I would say between 12 and 14 inches tall. Hmm. Would this be from a well-known manufacturer? It looks like something that was at my grandma's house or my aunt's house. Yeah, it's probably... Um, I don't think it's Aladdin. It could be Bradley and Hubbard, um, but I, I think it's I think it's a typical uh, American East Coast manufacturer. If I had to take a guess, I'd probably say Bradley and Hubbard, Connecticut. Uh, now, something like this, since it's been modified, does that right. change good, the good. does that change the mm -hmm. value? Smart thinking, thinking smart. Yes, 
impacts the value lower because it's been modified, Heather. Okay. Oh. See how good you are. You guys are so good. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's so pretty, though. Uh, all right. It's pretty. I, oh. Okay. Oh, David. Wait, wait. no, I just. Oh, I, okay. David. All right. I said sixty-five dollars. I said fifty dollars. Seventy-five dollars. Oh. Abraham. Well, we tied. Oh, we tied. So That's right. We there's tied. only one way to solve this. What? We're gonna have a face-off. Arm wrestling. Arm wrestling. Okay. <laughs> Okay. We'll settle this, Doctor Lori. Sounds good. And if you need a hero, Marvin's your guy. I <laughs> love that. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Doctor Lori. Not all heroes wear capes. It's true. <laughs> Some of them wear fur. Some of them are furry. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Doctor Lori. <laughs> or red high heels. Bye. Uh, Bye, Doctor Lori. <laughs> and thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours. Just email Doctor Lori at ptl at kdka.com. Make sure to include some information to help with the game, and it could be chosen for a future episode with Doctor Lori.